Hi friends, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emily and I am Breakfast of Marathons. Today we are headed to the Christmas market. Derek and I have made a tradition in our three-year relationship of going to the Dulles Expo Center Christmas market and checking out all of the fun Christmas gear and we are about to go meet my sister and the kids and I would like to take you along with us. So let's go. It's pretty open and spread out, unlike last year. So let's go do some shopping. So they have a little shop here that has little signs and decorations for Christmas. Here is the one that Derek and I should get. A pink flamingo that says Beachy Christmas. And they have ones that have little lights on them. With, and then ones with Santa. Here is another booth with Christmas wall hangings. I really like this one that says gather. A little believe sign. Very cute. Look at this cute little painting that says happy everything. And then Derek brought to my attention that we might need some more throw pillows. That one's cute. I like the beachy vibes of all of this stuff. All right, so we are done with the Christmas market and we are going to go home and I will show you everything that we bought when we get home. Some of it I'm not gonna include because it is Christmas presents, but we got a lot of stuff for ourselves, so. Go. that's one last look it's been about this busy the whole entire day we um, we got here around 1 30 ish and it is now four o'clock they close at five so they did a really good job of distancing and not allowing too many people in when we were here last year it was just crazy it was everybody jam-packed on top of each other the aisles were smaller and so they've spread everything out and utilized the entire convention center. So yeah, I will check back in when we get home. Hi guys, we are back from the Christmas market. I didn't get too much footage while we were there just because some of the artists were getting a little bit weird. I'm still not super comfortable with filming in public. So when somebody is giving me a weird look, I get very self-conscious, but I'm getting better at it. Um, so without further ado, let me just show you what we got. First up, we got some um, all natural brandy infused vanilla hickory syrup right here. We got to taste this while we were there and it was delicious. And so Derek wanted to get some of this. We can put on pancakes or muffins or biscuits or put it in whatever you put maple syrup in, but also they said that it would be really good on top of acorn squash, butternut squash, some of the winter hard squashes. So I might try to do that or maybe just try to put on over some Brussels sprouts or something like that. We also got the uh, bourbon barrel one. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if you can see that, but we got a little one of those just to, to have some because Derek really liked that one too, but we didn't like it enough to buy a whole bottle of it. So then I'm going to show you that's Falling Brook Farms. Um, they're out of Berryville, Virginia. This is their card if you want to pause it, if you're interested in trying out some syrup. Um, we also got, these are my, this is my favorite. We got um, a couple of headbands. Gary! For the love of God, cat. <sighs> Let's try that again. He's okay. Um, all right, let me try this again. I got this, I got some headbands. This one, if you 
are a Disney lover, you can probably tell that this was a Disney pin at one moment in time, and now it is a headband. And they're adjustable, so you can really just play with it. You can make it bigger or smaller. But I thought it was really cute with the chip, and nail, or the chip on it. I also got this purple Cinderella's carriage here, which is really nice. So if anybody, if you know me in person, purple is one of my favorite colors. So I really liked that. They had a blue one, but um, I liked that one a little bit better. And the card for these people is Whirl and Twirl. And they are out of Florida. So that's why they had a lot. They had a ton of Disney stuff, but some of their headbands were gorgeous, but they were kind of pricey and you know in the $40 $60 range so I got these this one was this one was 13 because we got a deal with my sister and my niece got they got headbands also so they gave us a deal where they gave us a little bit of off but if you just want to buy one this one would be 15 and this one would be 22 so this one was 20 and this one was 13 so we got those and then we got some face masks because we didn't have any Christmas face masks. Well, Derek didn't have any Christmas face masks. I have a couple coming from Sparkle Athletic, so I didn't really need a Christmas one. But he got the Jack and Sally Nightmare Before Christmas face mask because that's one of his favorite movies. Then he got the Red Snowflakes. And I got this one that says... If you're going to be salty, bring the tequila. I didn't get a card for the people who sold these masks, so unfortunately I can't give them a shout out in this video. Um, next I got clearance item bath bombs, which just are not as pretty as they once were. So I got a couple of dinged up bath bombs because I love to throw one of these in the bathtub after with some Epsom salt after I go for a long run. And then I liked this one. It smelled really good and it's a skull. Uh, very Halloween-y, but it's cool. It's a bath bomb. It's gonna dissolve anyway. So I can do a Halloween bath bomb <laughs> if I need to. Um, and the company that I bought that for was Mandy's Dandies Soaps and Such. And they are uh, from Culpeper, Virginia. So here is their information. If you want to pause the TV, I don't know if you can see the, um, all right. And so we also got from the maple syrup people, um, out of New York, we got some maple garlic and pepper seasoning. This is not for me. This is for my dad. It is not a Christmas present, so it is not spoiling anything, but I thought my dad would really like this. Um, he likes to play with weird spices and such. And then we got some New York Pure Maple Cream. Apparently it's got like the consistency of peanut butter and it is good on just a lot of things. Again, this is another one that's probably good on some squash. Um, we have some acorn squash right now that I'm gonna make up. Maybe put a little bit of uh, ground turkey in it. And if I just put a little bit of this um, in the ground turkey or on top, just mixed in, it'll be really good with that sweet and savory taste. So I'm really excited to try that. That was $9 for this little tiny thing, but you can put it on basically anything. Ba he said bagels biscuits, bread, toast. Uh, it's really good in peanut butter sandwiches. And then we got some New York pure maple whole bean maple coffee right here. And this was $10. I'm excited to try it. I like flavored coffee. So I'm excited to try this out. And if you can show you if you want to if you're interested in purchasing any of that, here is their information with their website. Probably the best thing for a runner that we could find. Um, we got these slippers that basically you can make hot or cold and you can keep them in the freezer or you can put them in the microwave for about a minute and a half and you just slip your feet right into them and it just sort of keeps them on. You just chill while you're watching TV or getting into bed. Um, it'll be good for the winter too, because Derek is somebody who is always cold. So 
these are really good for that. He can heat them up and put them on his feet if he's feeling like super cold after a long run or something. So um, it was, these were a deal. So I think that for two of them, it was like $55 or they were $35 each. So you got $10 off as a special from this specific event. So that is the haul. And if you can see over by Gary, those are the Christmas presents I bought. So I'm not going to show those, but they are, they're cool. I'll show them maybe in my Christmas video. And if I remember, <laughs> but that is going to do it for me. And I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. It really helps out my channel. If you like this kind of content, don't forget to click the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. So you are notified of future uploads on my channel. Um, Again, thank you so much for watching, and don't forget YouTube, keep moving. It's Gary. He always has to be somewhere in my videos. Somewhere. Always. The cat. And he likes to look himself in the background, because that's what he does. Oh, now he's scratching. He's lucky he's fluffy and cute and cuddly, because... I'm the star, me.